Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. So in uh, this uh, lecture, I have to continue speaking about the SAS4 radius and uh, I want to connect the MicroTik router to the SAS radius, meaning that in the future, I'm going to create an account on the SAS and this account can be used on the users who, which are connected to the MicroTik router, whether on PPPoE or Hotspot. But for this lab, I'm just going to show you how you can connect the SAS and the MicroTik router to be able to communicate to each other. So let's go directly to the work. So here I have the uh, uh, documentation of SAS open. So please uh, just follow this picture so you know how things are being connected. So um, we have the uh, uh, router, which is MicroTik over here, which has an IP, same range of the IP of the SAS. And they will be able to see each other. Of course, we have the one, so both they have internet. So the idea is that on the SAS, I have to add the MicroTik router and on the MicroTik router, I have to add the SAS radius. So in this case, whenever you configure or create a user and the user profile on the SAS server, then in this case, if this user, which is here connected to the Wi-Fi or dial-up or whatever, then he will send his username and password to the MicroTik router. The MicroTik router send it to the SAS, the SAS check for the authentication. And if it's approved, then it will send it back to the MicroTik router. And then the MicroTik will say to the customer, you can log in. So all the authentication and authorization and accounting is happening on the SAS radius. So at this moment, I do have, as we have seen in the previous lab, I have a computer with a virtual machine that uh, is already installed. And I have a router which is on the same network. So then we have to start to do the work. So first, uh, let's go to the SAS and then let's log in. So this is the SAS and then I will open also my router. So uh, the router has an IP, if I can show you here, it has an IP of 10.0.0.101, which is same range of the SAS. SAS has 10.0.0.254, if re you can recall from the previous lab. So what I'm going to do now, I have to go to the uh, MicroTik router. And the MicroTik router should have also a connection to the internet. So let's check if it's connected. So uh, we do have internet connection. Very good. And let's ping to the SAS. So ping to 10.0.0.254, which is the IP of the SAS. They should see each other. Otherwise, there will not be happening any communication between the SAS and the MicroTik router. Very good. So this is done. Let's go back to the SAS now. And what you need to do is... Uh, to create the NAS. But before we do that, I highly advise you that you first go to the settings. And on the settings, you have some general settings that you have to do. You have to put here the uh, um, currency that you are going to use. You have different type of currencies. So I'm putting here US dollars. The default language, you can choose that over here. The time zone, again, remember the time zone is very important. I'm gonna put Amsterdam. Europe, Amsterdam. And uh, if you want to change uh, the logo on your SAS, you can do that. If you want to put some footer uh, on the, the SAS, then you can do that. And of course, over here, you put it online. So that's the main things that you should uh, do. And uh, let's check if we have some more things to be done. Maybe let's check on the advance if we have something to be done. So normally, those are the main things that you need to do. At this moment, we are going to go through most of the things here, but at this moment, uh, this is what you need to do. Of course, you can see this is the IP. You can see that. So, yeah, this is uh, the web. This is the user portal, if you want to give users uh, a portal. But let's not change anything. We just have done the main things that uh, should be done. Now we go to the SAS, and we go to the NAS, actually. And from here, we create a NAS which is the MicroTik router. We call it, for example, Site1. And we give it the IP address of the MicroTik router. If we look here, the MicroTik router has an IP of 10.0.0.101. So I'm putting 10.0.0.101. The type, you have different options here from uh, the SAS. I'm gonna say I'm using MicroTik. Very good. Now the shared uh, secret key, that's very important. So let's put it test one, two, three. This should be the same when we want to add the uh, radio server on the MicroTik because you have to add the MicroTik on radius and then the radius on MicroTik. Now the version you have from MicroTik 6.33 or higher. My MicroTik router, if I go to the system 
packages, you can see it's on 7.12.1. So that means we have to choose this one. And you can keep the monitoring open uh, for the ping, so this task can ping the router to see if it's alive with them. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all what you need to do to add the, the MicroTech router on the, uh, on the SAS. And uh, that's what we should do. Now, let's go to the MicroTech router and we do also from this side. Of course, if you look here, we should check this incoming port that we have is 1700. So we should put the same port to listen to it on the MicroTech router. So we go now to the radius on the MicroTech router. And then we say incoming, accept on the port 1700, which is on the SAS. That's the port which is working on. And then, okay. And then I'm going to create the radius. So normally you can use anything you want here, but I'm going to use this SAS uh, and MicroTech for the PPP, means to for the PPP OE and the hotspot. Now we put the uh, use the uh, the IP of the SAS, which is 10.0.0.254. And the secret, remember the secret we use test with the capital T123. So test one, two, three. If you want, I can show it to you here. Test one, two, three. And uh, that's it. So now we say apply and okay. So believe it or not now, the uh, uh, MicroTech router should be able to communicate with the, the uh, SAS. And uh, yeah, now in the upcoming lectures, I'm going to show you how you can create uh, the, uh, of course, the hotspot on the router and the PPPoE, and then we create users on the SAS and then we see that they are going to get authenticated. Let's go to the SAS now. And uh, we go over here. Um, we can see that uh, there is uh, the, uh, it's working three milliseconds. So, uh, and there is no zero packets. So very good. So meaning that both uh, are able to communicate to each other. And that's all what I wanted to show you in this lab. So this is the second video that I'm speaking about the SAS4. We have now added the MicroTech router uh, inside the radio server and we added the radio server on the MicroTech router so they can communicate to each other. In the upcoming lecture, I'm going to configure the MicroTech router for the PPPoE and for the hotspot. And then I'm going to show you how you can, once you create the user inside the SAS, then uh, this user can be used uh, by customers to be able to get authenticated and using the internet, which is on the MicroTech router. So this is all what I wanted to show you in this lecture. I hope it was informative for you, and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.